This series of movies are provided by EnzoClub.com team, which is the official website of Faust College in the Syrian International and Faust Private University of Science and Technology. In these movies, today we are going to talk about the synthesis of paracetamol, which is a common analgesic and antipyretic, which has activity which has a similar activity to, to aspirin but weaker than aspirin and it is used for the treatment of pain such as headache, toothache and rheumatism. The synthesis of this drug is very simple by the very common reaction which is the uh, conversion of amine into amide as you can see, we can react paraminophenol with acetate and hydride to convert the amide group into amide group. And we will get a byproduct which is, which is acetate ion. We can notice that the more nucleophilic group reacts rather than the less nucleophilic group. With the, acetate, with the acetate and hydride. Particularly, in this reaction, we can see that half of the acetate and hydride, or the acetate and hydride, has been react, reacted uh, with a paraminophenol. One half uh, is used, and the other acts as a nucleophile which is yield the acetate ion which is a byproduct and it's a problem so we prefer to use acetic chloride rather than the acetate anhydride why? or rather than the anhydride because uh, we can get the byproduct we will get here is the HCl or the hydrochloric acid which can be easily removed by uh, washing with water or cold water why this with this product will not dissolve in, in water to bitch, to bitch. so this is, this is the benefit of uh, chemistry so this, so this is a uh, very uh, very good in the commercial production why this we use it uh, easily uh, to, to, to the student in the college because it's very easily and can be done in 30 minutes approximately. Here we can see that in this reaction with acetyl chloride, uh, the, 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 the amine here acts as a nucleophile which will react with the carbonyl group or will attack the carbonyl group, in which in this compound uh, the chloride chloride will be replaced by the primary amine here. This is the primary amine. And we will get an amine group here and the HCM rather than the acetyl ion. Acetyl ion here is a byproduct and is a, we can say it's, it can be washed by water. But uh, the can be, uh, HCl can be washed more easily because it's uh, uh, fully ionized or approximately uh, uh, strong ionized in water. And uh, in these two reactions, we use a small amount of sodium hydroxide uh, as, as mentioned in the reference to convert the amine into amide. Now, the practical part of this movie. This is paraminophenol, or it can be named or called for aminophenol. The same. This is acetic anhydride. It's a brown color and it can be distinguished by the smell. This is distilled water. 
uh, you can uh, read the procedure, uh, how, uh, the, the weight and the volume of the reagent we want written on the, in the website uh, of this movie on ionsclub.com. We will dissolve the palaminophenol with water first of all and then we will add the acetic anhydride slowly and uh, we, will, we will see that this reaction is exothermic. Caution! Don't add all the acetic anhydride in one step. After uh, we add the acetic anhydride, we'll add the magnetic stir and stir on, on the magnetic stir here for about, uh, first of all, uh, to until the solid uh, mass will be dissolved and uh, after it will be dissolved, uh, we will stir it for additional 10 minutes to make sure that the reaction uh, has been completely done. The temperature uh, it should be about uh, uh, until boiling, until a little bit boiling, not a, a very strong boiling. After additional ten minutes, after the solid mass has been dissolved, uh, we will cool it down until the crystals of paracetamol will be formed. That will dissolve uh, the acetate ion or the acetic acid uh, which is uh, produced as we mentioned in the theoretical part of this movie. Uh, after that, after uh, two or three wash, uh, washing by water, you will get a pure and a white crystals of paracetamol. And that's all.